Um, and I'm sure you were on fire. Speaking of, of Dame, uh, I'm sure you were angry when the All Star starters were announced. I'm sure you were one of those people who were just like beside themselves at the I'm thought of fan vote being a tiebreaker. And and Dame, my preseason pick for MVP, mind you, Dame Lillard uh, being left out of the starting lineup in favor of Luka because the fan voting tied it. I was so happy yesterday when the All-Star Reserves were announced. You had your usual people who instinctively use the S word. There we go. Except there it is. a man at NBC Sports. They get it, but they get it. I haven't said this in a long time, but for some reason, LeBron doesn't get it. People like LeBron, they just keep gaslighting this thing. You know, like, there are no such things as all-star snubs. Tell me Because why. they all Tell deserve me. to be there. I've been going off about this for 20 years, and I'm so thankful to see more and more people. I saw a few tweets about this. Richard Jefferson comes to mind. He tweeted this last night. I saw more and more people tweet that everybody talks about snubs, but nobody talks about is Howard Beck. Nobody talks about who you're taking off. Thank you. I've only been saying that for 20 years in any sport, whether it's basketball, the Pro Bowl when it mattered, if it ever did, Major League Baseball All-Star Game, NHL, any All-Star Game. That's a great man. People talk That's about, oh, he got snubbed. Name, he got snubbed. Yeah, he got snubbed. He got snubbed. No, he didn't. Hey, how many people you on the team? Okay, like, you know, I, 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 watched, I watched Dead Presidents the other day. It's like, it, it's like a... Uh, Chris Tucker's character in Smoke uh, and, and, Dave, and Dave President said, you might as well put an ad in the paper. You're going to get everybody. Like, how many people yeah. are you going to put in an all-star game if everybody's going to be a snub? There's a lot of deserving players. Everybody can't be an all-star. Devin Booker has been phenomenal. You're not going to tell me Chris Paul is not an all-star. And at the end of the day, Anthony Davis ain't playing. Adam Silver's going to put Devin Booker in for Anthony Davis anyway. But everybody on that list, Eastern and Western Conference, they deserve to be there. So nobody got snubbed. You just think everybody can't, everybody can't get in the VIP. It wouldn't be VIP if everybody got in. He's not the most disrespected player in the league. Everybody yeah. respects Devin Booker. Who doesn't yeah, respect okay, Devin wait, wait, Booker? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who doesn't respect wait. him? Okay. Let me. Okay. Let me just. I, I, I'm gonna I'm get. Since I know my I'm brother. I'm gonna calm Michael, down. I'm gonna calm down. I'm no, no, calm, I don't I'm need to calm down. down. I like this. I, I, like, I, like, I, I, I get so I frustrated by that. I get so frustrated. I like Pastor. Great shirt, no, by the way. Too. Damian Lillard. And then, and then, Le, and then LeBron said Great shirt. Damian Damian Lillard Lillard is the second. Oh, silence, pump. Yeah, little Martin Lawrence yeah, flashback. Great shirt. Damian Lillard. Uh, Damian Lillard said, um, uh, excuse me, LeBron said that Damian Lillard was the second most disrespected player. No, he's not. Before his losing streak, Damian Lillard was an MVP conversation. Everybody knows how good Damian Lillard is. Who doesn't respect Damian Lillard? Who, like, he gets all... He's, you cannot be disrespected in perpetuity. Eventually, it's going to come around to where you're getting your respect because everybody says you're disrespected. Nobody doesn't... Who, who are we talking about? When it, who are we talking about? See, people don't respect Damian Lillard. What people? What people? Who? We who? Anyway, sorry. I said I was going to call See, no, right. I'm just gonna, let me say this, though. See... As Killmonger said, y'all sitting up here all comfortable. You and your, you and your, <laughs> uh, you and your, oh, why are they talking about being snubbed? Why are they talking about being disrespected? I agree. Now, I don't, I don't think it's a snub. I don't think that. But I got no game. I'm 5'8", five, 5'9", five, on a good day. Got a shooting range of four feet. And I sit here and I talk about sports. I got no game. I just, I just, I just run my mouth. So it's not about me. I am not being snubbed. But just imagine, Michael Smith, you tell me. I'm going to make it personal for you. I don't know what your all-star snub moment is, but I'm sure you've got an all-star snub moment. If you're in an industry, and this is the celebration of the sport, this is the family reunion, even though it's going to be a little... Uh, it's gonna be a little. It's gonna be a socially distanced family reunion in 2021 in Atlanta. But everybody's coming together. Everybody pays attention. You got your stats. You got your little bio there. Hey, seven-time All Star, fifteen-time All Star, three-time All Star, and you're Devin Booker. Yeah. You're balling out in yep. this industry. Cr incredible. And sure, incredible. Michael Smith respects you. Michael Holly respects you. But why can't I? Hey, man, you mean I, why can't I be there?
Why, why can't I be there? Yeah, you would take it personally. No, I'm I sure don't, you've got I, something like that. No, no. We all I, do. I don't mind. I, 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 I hear you 100%. Oh, absolutely. Basically, what you're saying is I got an ego. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, no, 100%. Like, I agree with you. Like, of course, Devin Booker should feel slighted. He's been brilliant this year for a team that even though we knew would be better in the offseason when they got CP3 and coming off what they did under Monty Williams in the bubble last year, or last season, I mean, it's even better than we thought. I mean, they're, they're, they're really, really good, and he's playing lights out. So he has every reason to feel slighted. But snubbed and the snub conversation, it's simple math. If you're saying he should be on the team, then by extension, you're saying someone who's on the team should not be on the team. Identify that individual. And if you can't tell me that drop, like, just full stop, person X should not be a Western Conference All-Star because Devin Booker, and Devin Booker should, if person X has to come off, then okay. But I don't see anybody on that list that somebody can make a definitive ironclad case that they are, like, they, that's, this is somehow ridiculous that they're on the All-Star team. I mean, yeah. Trey Young, your boy Trey. I know you love Trey Young. Your boy Trey Young got a beef in the Eastern Conference. He's got a he's got a beef in Eastern. But it's like, who are you taking off the team? This was always frustrating me. There is a finite amount of space on All Star teams, and Booker will get there. He'll be a replacement for Anthony Davis anyway. So all's well that ends well. So now I'm not saying Booker should feel some kind of way, and I know it's a big deal of being All Star. It's the only All Star game I really care about at this point, even if they shouldn't be That's playing right. it. The, the, be, to be identified as an all-star in the NBA is huge. It's huge. So uh, in no way am I suggesting that it's no big deal. I'm just talking about the outrage. The, 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 it's, like, it's almost like we live to be upset about who didn't make the team versus celebrating who did make the team. That's all. It's, just, it's, just, it's an yeah. annual thing okay. with every sport, and it's been pissing me off for 20 years. Check you don't like about, the Look, tradition. maybe a tree fall in the forest and nobody heard it. I have been saying this for the entire, ever since I had a microphone in front of me, stop talking about snubs. I couldn't stand it. Because then you got to like really nitpick to try to figure out, well, this person's got, he's averaging 0. 0.2 more points than this person. So he should, come on, stop it. Stop it. Seriously. But we um, could, though. I'm sure, I'm sure we could if we wanted to. We were, if we were so inclined and we wanted to, you know, take people off the all-star team and put them back on, Put some other people on. We could. But as you said, the, the key I phrase think, you used is ironclad, and there's no ironclad case. So, in terms of respect, he has the players' respect, clearly. And it was nice to see the players show him love last night. That was a nice, that was, it was a nice outpouring to, you know, let him know, like, hey, man, we see you. You know, the, the process may not have rewarded you, but we see you. Hey, thanks for watching, brother, from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us. 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.